Mm-hmm. Okay. Check, check, one, two, three. <laughs> My name is Olivia, if you're new here. I'm the Witch of Wanderlust here on YouTube and on Instagram. And I have a guest today, Annie the Green Witch. If you're unfamiliar with her channel, I will link everything up above her head and down in the description below. If you don't know who she is, then... What are you doing with her? I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. But we're doing a Q&A on her channel as well as cleansing her haunted table. So that's also something you should check out. In this video, we're doing Tassiomancy, which is the art of reading tea leaves. Annie has informed me that she has never really read tea leaves, and I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna do that here, and I'm gonna give you a really rough rundown of how to do that. Right now, I'm using Stormy Night by David's Tea. It's one of my favorite teas, especially in like the colder months. Mm -hmm. It's got chocolate in it and cinnamon, and it's like very, it's very like, warm but it's also very protective there's a lot of protective qualities in a lot of the things that they use it's a good ritual tea which is we used it it's for our protection and cleansing ritual and banishing ritual for the table it's uh, enjoyable it, it's really good. really good yeah. yeah so when you make tea in order to read it you have to put the leaves like loose leaves into the cup and you can use out of like a tea bag and just like rip it open but I prefer not to. You can though. It's not, there's nothing like wrong with that. So we just put the straight tea leaves in there. We are letting them cool, cool so that we can actually drink them. And then you're going to drink it and you're going to try to like sift it with your teeth. It sounds weird and it's very uncomfortable and it's like not glamorous, but that's how you do it. So we have these little, uh, these little tea cups. Traditionally, if there is a, like a handle, on the teacup, then that would be your current or the person that you're reading for. So you would kind of infuse it with that intention of giving you a future reading or like some kind of reading of whatever question you have, whether it's a general question or like a love reading or literally whatever it is, uh, you can put it in there as you pour it, as you drink it, whatever. The handle itself is going to represent the person drinking it, the person asking the question. And we'll get to that in a second. This one doesn't have a handle, so we're not really gonna worry about it, but keep that in mind because most teacups have handles. Yes, these are bowls. I don't even, yeah, they're, they're small bowls. We're, they're not really teacups. We're really improvising here. Yes, question? Just oh, ramekins. Oh, answer. Yes, Statement. they're ramekins. Statement. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're for like dipping sauce. Statement. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate. That's okay. See, this looks like a teacup, but without a handle. Yeah, it's just a fancy ramekin. Also, use a lighter colored glass or cup or something yeah, because it'll be so much easier to read. <laughs> That's gonna happen. Yeah, you get a good, nice little, uh, some. You do. Good teeth, teeth looks. Teeth, yeah, you do. Tooth looks. <laughs> Just... <laughs> You're also gonna need a dish of some sort. It can be like a regular ass plate, it doesn't have to be like a fancy teacup thing, but you're gonna need a dish, so. Mm -hmm. These are snazzy. They are snazzy. We drank our tea, now it's really just, oh, we should put a little bit of liquid still. I should've, yeah. You you want like a little bit of liquid, not a ton. Mm -hmm. You have like I have a little bit. So that's what the saucers come into. So then, if you have a, a handle, you would put the saucer over, and you have the handle towards you, if you had a handle. And then you flip it over and you spin it three times clockwise until the handle goes three times all the way around, pointing towards you. So one, two, I'm counting this flower on me, mm -hmm. three. So after that, then you can lift and shift and then you can look inside and see. And so you would face the handle towards you or towards the person that you're reading towards. So if I was reading for Annie, I would have the handle facing towards her and shift it three times around. And then I would look at it. From the top of the lip lower, things to the left uh, would be more of the past influences and things to the right would be more of the future influences. So it's kind of like a grid, but then you kind of look at it and you really have to just not think here, which is really hard to do, but you just kind of have to like look at it at different things and see if you can see different shapes. So like, do you see any shapes in your tea leaves or if you can, like I can, I'm able to blur my eyes. Mm -hmm. So if you can like, yeah, already, okay. So yeah. like if you can blur your eyes, 
that helps a lot. Like I see a bear in mine. I see a woman. Oh, I see a telescope. You see a woman? Mm -hmm. I see a duck. Oh, you see a duck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, let's switch. And then like maybe I'll see something in yours that you, and then like vice versa. Oh, wait, so this was the way that you were right here was towards you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm gonna turn it this way. There's a lot in the past for you. <laughs> <laughs> like that, like it's like fully mm -hmm. that way. Oh, I definitely see like a raven mm -hmm. for sure in yours. Oh, I see a bat too. Ooh. Or like something with really long wings, mm -hmm. but it, I think it looks like a bat. And again, this like, it, it's so interpretive, which I think a lot of people have a lot of issues with. Yeah. Because bats for me are messages, messages from like the underworld, the ancestors, spirits. They're, they're messengers yeah. from the underworld. Uh, whereas bats could be bad omens to other people where I don't see that. I don't think of them as bad omens. Neither do I. I see a W. I see glasses on here. I see glasses. Hmm. Yeah, I see a W. Um, or a mask. And then I see a stingray. So stingrays mean protection for me. And that's like close, like, uh, like a closer one for you. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it's big. <laughs> um, and then I see a giraffe. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what a giraffe, I've never. <laughs> seen a giraffe before. Yeah, I see a lot of like flying animals. I see a phoenix in the past. Like, so everything on the past is like this, it's it's huge. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like this huge phoenix. Mm -hmm. This this side is this giant, like everything is in the past. And there's like scatters, a lot of flying in your cup. You have to blow your eyes for it. It's little. Oh, I see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that would be in the past and like spiritual realm. So that must be something of like, because mine was general. I don't know if you had like an intention for yours. Mine was general. just general. Um, I guess I would probably see that as more as like, maybe me trying to cover up like a piece of my practice. Yeah, and that makes sense for me, for sure. I think it's very fitting. That's fascinating. I love tassiography. So that's the cup. But the the saucer is all external forces or like external environment things, like things that you just cannot control. Mm -hmm. And I mean like so is so is the cup, but like these are like people in your life or like situations in your life a lot of the time. And these are all things that are outside. So like I definitely see a bat in mine. Mm -hmm. And the more there is, the more drama there is. It, it, it seems like almost too. <laughs> you got a little more than I. Okay, look, I've seen people where it's like just a few bits and like the whole thing comes out and I'm like, bro, you need to, <laughs> you know, out, yeah, I'm like, out. you need to calm down. Not, that's like the average, mm -hmm. I feel like. Not, and drama, drama is not always a bad thing. Mm -hmm. You know, drama is not no. always bad. It just means like there's more things happening externally within your social compass. So um, it's not awful. In mine, I see a bat. Let me see yours. What do you see in yours? I mean, I I am. That's the thing I is like I you still... can't look too hard. Yeah. You just have to like see things. Like when you see things, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. And it takes practice. It really does. I still see a lot of flying. I see an eagle, kind of right in the middle of here. Mm -hmm. That's like I see a perched dove. Mm. In yours, I see like a, it's like a shelter. Mm -hmm. Like I see some kind of shelter and it's like a very I see. basic shelter. You see it? Yeah. Something like homey and like comfortable. Right underneath like a bramble. Yeah. Or the shelter, the bramble is underneath it. And then the shelter is built on top of it. So you, like, it's almost like you trying to find or build a home on top of something that's very, mm -hmm. uh, not barren, not barren. Like, Dangerous? Pokey. Yeah, something that is usually seen as dangerous, mm -hmm. but I think that that's kind of on brand for that's you. It's very so, on brand for me. Um, that's, that's very accurate to yeah. this moment of my life, mm -hmm. which is... Yeah, I also see an A. I do see a lot, I see a lot of flying as well. Yeah, I see this, uh, I see a hummingbird actually, mm -hmm. which is great. Hummingbirds are love and Ooh. like, yeah, 
and it's like a like a sweet love. It's not like le- like lustful or whatever, you yeah. know. Which is fine, but you yeah. know, like, it's like a sweet, like new spring, like butterflies, like love. Like it's a good love. I like those. Anatomically, anatomically correct heart is what I see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Like uh, here, top. Yep. It's, yeah, you see it. Yeah. It's perfect. It's so it's good. Perfect. Yes, and then I see, like a diving bird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you see that too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the more water. The more water is in your thing is like the more emotional aspect. So that's why it's like more drama. Yeah. It can vary. You know. Mine's not bad. No, yours. Yeah. No, yours is not bad. No. So. Tea leaf reading is a lot of figuring out what symbols mean to you, and I think that's the hardest part. Because when, because like I don't know what the fuck a giraffe means, and I saw that in yours, you know. And I, I would think maybe like the first thing that comes to mind is maybe like uh, reaching for things that are difficult to grasp, or maybe like realizing that you have further of a reach than you think that you do. Mm-hmm. Something reaching. Yeah, something reaching, but that's not something that like you can also Google it <laughs> and see what what connects. Yeah. But that's what I think that's what the biggest issue that people have with tea leaf reading is like just figuring out what things mean to them. Oh, I see a crab right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It uh, just takes practice. Yes. And yeah. we discussed this in Annie's other video, so check it out if you haven't. It's up here. But how different spell ingredients react different in different environments and cultures. And I think that's the same thing with symbols so like if you come from a different culture if you come from a different environment symbols are going to mean different things to you yeah. and it's totally valid depending on where you are like Absolutely. it's yeah so it takes practice and i think it's like a big thing of just just start reading for yourself and don't don't try hard like mm-hmm. do not try too hard because it's just gonna make it worse but uh yeah so that's my crash course on tea leaf reading. I hope that... I love it. Isn't it fun? It's really fun. I think it's a good thing that would be a good just practicing thing every day. It's a really easy... Like, it's so easy. Yeah. yeah. Like, it takes a few extra minutes to, like, put the intention into it, drink it, and then, like, read it and, like, put the, you know, do the whole thing. But it doesn't take long. And especially if you are on a time crunch you are kind of forced to like like okay what do i see what do i see what do i see what do i see be the most honest yeah Yeah. exactly and write everything down i say this all the fucking time write everything down and i swear to god i mean it because you'll thank yourself and you'll thank me later (laughs) but write everything down but yeah that's the crash course i hope that you enjoyed as always thanks for watching Check Annie's video out because we had a lot of fun hanging out with each other and uh, drinking drinks, answering lots of questions. Yes, we did a Q&A on her channel, so check it out. But otherwise, as always, best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye. Bye.